<laughs> okay people well i don't know what to say really i just uh, i've just gone and bought another lathe to the workshop i mean i haven't got enough space as it is and well you know i, I saw this and i just i just couldn't resist it i mean this thing is uh, it's, it's it's totally amazing and um, I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll we'll find a place for it uh, somewhere uh, in the workshop not that i'll be able to move anymore but um this is just a first look it literally arrived today i thought you guys would like to see this now i'm sure there are <laughs> many of you out there that know exactly what the, what this is and 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 why this is all a bit of a joke really uh, about the space i will uh, zoom out a little bit and the reason why it won't be a problem is because it's that big. <laughs> yeah, this is a Manson lathe, one of the first ones that they made in the uh, late 40s. This would have been produced in 1946, 1947, somewhere like that. Um, let me uh, put it on the turntable so you can have a proper look at it. Yeah, I'm probably the only lathe in the world that will fit on my turntable. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, these little lathes, these Manson lathes, were made by the Small Machinery Company in Los Angeles. Uh, it, as I said, in the uh, late 1940s. What is amazing about these things is that despite the size, the fact that it is, I think it's about nine inches long. I mean, there's, there's my hand, so you can, see, you can see how big it actually is. It's a fully operational lathe. This is the, one of the early models. It has a two-speed drive. I'll show you the, uh, the motor. We'll have the, see if we can get the back panel off in a minute. And it has a fully working uh, bed with a saddle, which you can move. And the, all of it operates just like a full-size lathe. So you can wind the bed up and down. You can move the cross slide in and out. You can slide the tailstock up and down. You can wind the tailstock quilt in and out and you can lock it using this lever here. Um, so yeah, this thing is a fully operational lathe. There's a little tiny weeny tool in there and you can turn metal with this thing. Literally, it's, it is a fully operational lathe, but it's tiny. I mean, it's absolutely bloody gorgeous. Now I found out about these quite a while ago now and um, I've been looking for one for a long time, but they do, they are rather collectible, needless to say. So they, they do tend to go for quite a lot of money. But yeah, I mean, look at that thing. That is, isn't that just bloody gorgeous? I mean, that is just perfect. It really is. So as I said, this will be a quick video. This will just be like a, a, a first look um, at, at the thing. And, um, I'll take it off the turntable and we'll get it running so you can see it in operation. Before we do that though, I will tip it up so you can see the underneath. Let's try if I can try and hold this, it's quite heavy, I need to say. Uh, there you go. So you've got an open motor, little fan for cooling, and the drive belt is just there, you can see that, which goes up to the step pulley at the top. So yeah. That's what's underneath. All right, let's get it connected up and get it running. Okay, let's turn it on. Now, another amazing thing about this little lathe, it has another trick up its sleeve. Pay close attention to the carriage wheel. No hands. It has power feed on the carriage. Isn't that amazing? This little lathe has got power feed. It's, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's a little bit noisy, so we'll turn it off. But 
yeah, I just thought you'd like to see that. Uh, just, well, it's, this thing is just truly amazing. Uh, I, I intend to um, set it up with so, some small pieces of uh, bar, bar stock. Probably use aluminium, obviously, as it's the easiest. And we'll see if we can actually make some chips. But as I said, this is just a, just a first look video. I'll see if I can get the cover off the back. Okay, got the cover off. I happen to have a, the right size Allen screw for the uh, <clears throat> hand wheel that's on the end of the uh, main spindle. So there you can see the rubber drive belt. This is a two-stepped pulley, so we can put this belt onto here. Second part of the pulley for the second speed. And there you can see the gearbox driving the main spindle and the lead screw. So let's have a close up on that. I mean, this is a really, really nice, nicely made bit of kit. Yeah, it really is a lovely, lovely, lovely bit of kit. Okay, well, that's about it for the uh, the very first look at this truly remarkable little lathe. Uh, I, I, I just think these things are absolutely gorgeous. There was a set of tools that the company produced to go with them, and they do come up on eBay. In fact, there's a set up on eBay at the moment. Basically, it's um, things like dry dogs and collets and that kind of thing, but they're horrendously expensive. I think the one on eBay for the moment that's on the eBay at the moment is um, uh, listed at over 300 pounds just for the set of, of, of tools. But um, yeah, I mean, in order to actually get some chips out of this thing, uh, I will have to make some sort of a dog that I can uh, put on some round stock so that the uh, faceplate will drive, will drive it. But I mean, it's just, it's just amazing <laughs> bit of kit. It's just totally, totally way, way cool. So uh, I couldn't believe my, my luck in, in actually getting one of these. And this one is in very, very good condition. There's a few knocks to the paint, but the bed and all the other parts look absolutely fine. And it's not missing anything. It's all there, which is, which is just great. So there you go. The Manson lathe from the Small Machines Company in Los Angeles made in around around about 1946 1947 and there will be uh, i'll do some more once i've got to had a look have a real close look at it see whether it needs cleaning or oiling or whatever so the lead screw does look a bit dry and things like that so uh, we'll have a close inspection and then hopefully we can get this thing making some chips okay thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed this little video on the manson lathe cheers